Welcome back to the channel. Today is a new video in my how to series and we're going to look at how to create a simple mission using Copterus and the DJI Mavic Air 2. Open the Copterus app and using the map function locate the area that you want to film your mission in. Click the box at the bottom of the screen to open the options menu. Then select new mission. Center the blue dot on the center point of the mission area and then click create here. As we are creating a waypoint not mapping mission, click the linear route option. Next, give the mission a name. As it's Spitbank Fort, I've called it Spit Fort. Once you are happy everything is ready, click create. This will take you to the map and allow you to set your waypoints. Firstly, let's add a point of interest to the mission. This is the point at which the drone will aim at while it's flying the mission. Click the star icon and drag it to the center point of your mission. Now let's start to adjust the waypoints for the mission. Click and hold the first waypoint and drag it to the point you want to start the mission from. Repeat this for the second and third waypoints. In this example I am dragging the third waypoint next to the first one as I want to fly a kind of circle around the fort. You will notice on the waypoint marker number two that the orange arrow is pointing towards the point of interest. This is where the drone camera will be looking when it flies. Now let's add some more waypoints and get the mission planned. Click the plus icon between points 1 and 2. You will notice a new point 2 is added as well as two more plus icons to add intermediate waypoints. Click and hold the second waypoint and drag it to a different point on the map. Now repeat this for the third waypoint. Click the plus icon between waypoints 2 and 3 to add some more intermediate waypoints. Then drag the new waypoint 4 down to the bottom corner of the map. Drag waypoint 3 to a new location on the map, then click the plus icon between 2 and 3 to add a new waypoint and adjust this as well. Click the plus icon to add a waypoint between 1 and 2 and drag this new waypoint to the new point on the map. Finally fine tune all your waypoints until you are happy with the mission the drone will be flying. When you are happy with the waypoints you have set, click the plus button in the bottom corner of the screen. Now we can fine tune the way the drone will fly in the mission. Click the slider icon at the bottom of the screen to enter the setup mode. Firstly, using the slider, set the auto speed you want the drone to fly the mission at. Next, set the flight path. You can either fly waypoint to waypoint in a straight line or fly waypoint to waypoint on a curved radius. The next step is to tell the drone how many times to repeat the mission. Use the slider to set the number of times. Now let's fine tune what the drone does at each waypoint. Click the first waypoint and you will see the waypoint options menu open. Firstly, let's adjust the altitude using the slider to the height we want the drone to fly at. Once set, beneath you will see the heading that the drone will fly from waypoint to waypoint. If you don't want to use the auto speed set earlier, you can click speed set and then use the slider to set the actual speed you'd like the drone to fly at. Also, if you would like the drone to take photos at intervals during the flight, click the slider to on. You can choose to take photos at either time or distance intervals set with the slider below. As we're filming a video, this time we're going to switch this to off. Now let's add some actions for the drone to do while filming. Click the add action button. We want the drone to film a video here, so click start video. This tells the drone that once it reaches this waypoint to start recording video. You can select other options, but today we're looking at video. Use the left and right arrows to scroll through the summary for each of the waypoints in the mission. You can make changes to each of the waypoints in the mission here, or you can leave them and they will continue the mission from the first waypoint settings. As waypoint 8 is the last mission waypoint, this is the point we want to stop video. So add an action, stop video. Once you are happy with all the waypoint settings, click the tick to return to the map. To find out more information about your mission, such as weather and whether you're flying in a no-fly zone, click the spanner icon and then click info. Here you will see where you are flying, any rules or advisories that are around the area that you're planning to fly the mission in. To view the weather forecast for your mission area, click the weather icon on the top right hand corner and then you can scroll through the next few hours to see what the weather is likely to be. If you would like to see a 3D view of your mission area, Click the 3D icon and the map will show you it in 3D. You can move around this map just by dragging and dropping. And that is your mission finished. All you need to do now is connect the drone to Copterus and then send the mission to the drone and fly it.
The video will be saved to the drone as normal and you can simply download it from the drone to your Mac or PC and then create your video from there. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel for more how-to videos coming in the future.